Previously on Gears. All right, let's turn our attention to just some delightful loveliness. And of course, that delightful loveliness every Wednesday afternoon, round about this time, is the one and only Dorothy Black. Hello, Dottie. Hello. I was just about to tweet. Apparently, the, everybody's gone on break for the Oscar Pistorius trial. And I was just about to say, well, if there's a break, you can tune in and. There we go. Masturbation. <laughs> Want to. How much more exciting is that? Do you know if I was sitting in that trial place, I'd probably go out for a wank every now and then. I think I must get quite boring after a while. Well, there we go then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But I mean, you could... Never mind. Anyway, Dottie, yeah. lovely to chat to you. The line sounds a little bit funny today. Oh, does it? No, there we go. There we go. You're much better. Dottie, I like this question. Yes. Well, I don't. I, I, I do feel quite sad for this person, but I like the question. Yes. It says, um, "Hi, Dot. I haven't had sex in two years. In fact, I haven't had good sex in six years. Mm. Wow. I don't really see myself meeting anyone anytime soon, but I'm so bored with how I masturbate. What can I do to spice up sex with myself?" What a question. You know, I actually think it's a great question. I got asked it today. And what I like about it is that it opens up a discussion about what happens during those dry spells. Because, you know, we always talk about that, like, um, you know, that plateau where there's no sex. And then we get sad about the fact that there's no sex. And then there's no, and we get depressed about it and blah, blah, blah. And I always think that those are the spells that you can actually, um, you can spend that time to learn about what you like. So instead of thinking it as as thinking about it as being I'm alone and I'm not getting sex, boo, uh, you actually think about it as a way to start exploring your own sexuality. Wow. And so um, to spice up your own sex life with yourself is um, is to actually start exploring um, things that you might not necessarily explore when you're in a very comfortable relationship with someone that you have good enough sex with. Um, so the first thing I would do is to actually start exploring some stuff online, going on to forums, sex forums, kink forums, fetish forums, um, anything that kind of um, piques an interest for you, there will be a group or a website, even like online dating places where you can go and explore this. And I think what's good about that is that it gives you some time to sort of play around with what, um, what interests you. So that's the one thing. The other thing yeah. when it comes to like actually the physicality of it, you know how few people know about using lube when it comes to masturbation? And that includes guys and girls. That lube isn't just for when you're playing with your partner. It actually makes wanking so much better. You listen, um, Daisy. Because, <laughs> I mean, your boyfriend's <laughs> away a lot, Daisy. Great question. Just keep him going. Uh, <laughs> then, obviously, they are toys. And toys for guys and for girls. Um, that'll help you kind of get to know if this is a girl. We'll get to you'll help. It'll help you get to know your vagina a better, but like a little bit better. Toys that'll help you explore the inside, the around side, your clit, what turns you on, what doesn't turn you on. Um, and then I would, if I was in your position, I'd start going to more parties, some more sex parties, and that's um, you would find out about by getting involved with the forums that interest you. So if you're interested in kink, you would go onto a kink forum. You'd find the kind of kinks that that um, appeal to you. And then once you've been on the forum for a while, you'll probably start getting to find out where the parties are happening, who's having an invites-only party at their place or at a workshop. Then you'd start going to those. Never see a situation where you're not actually physically having sex with someone as a dry spell. It doesn't have to be dry at all. There is enough literature out there to work your own um, sex energy and to work your own sex by yourself very comfortably and give you enough material to kind of make you um, to make you sexually um, satisfied. And also try this, like when you're actually wanking, try to not think of a fantasy. So you would actually then try mm. like sense, um, I think they call it like sensate practice or whatever on your own body. So instead of just like hopping into bed and whacking one out because, you know, you're tired or bored, actually go through the process of making love to yourself. So you'll touch yourself, you'll get to feel yourself and don't get lost in the fantasy. Try and stay in the, in the, sense, in the sensory moments of it. Internal exploration. Correct. And internal exploration isn't just, um, it could also be... Um, um, no, mentally as well. 
Yeah, well, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Yes. So when you're by yourself, you actually take the time to to go into a lot of your own sexual um, your own sexual likes and dislikes. It'll give you time to explore what works for you and what doesn't work for you. So now, so now Daisy, what do you think about? Um, nothing. Comfort's oh, got no, it. Come on. You know what another <laughs> friend of mine's doing, which is really awesome, and this is actually great for. Um, for people who are online a lot, when you're single, you have so much opportunity to explore online as much as you want. Mm. And so you could go on to dating sites in America or Europe or whatever and try some good old-fashioned um, sex chats. And there are amazing people out there who are really great at it. It's the only way they want to have sex. Um, and you could explore that part of yourself. And you can explore all these things without having to worry about what someone else is thinking. So it is as much physical as it is mental. Very good advice, I must oh, say. There we go. Very, very good advice, Daisy. Hey, Mike, I feel like we really just like... No, we're on, we're on the pulse here. That went right out. Yeah, that was so good. Comfort is in hysterics over here. He loves the way you say wanking. <laughs> wanking. My favorite is rubbing one out. I heard that, yes. I that the other day for women. Yeah, you've got to rub one out. <laughs> squeak, squeak, squeak. Daisy? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love there's some, listen, there's some awesome sex toys for guys, huh? There's um, there's something called the Tenga Flip Hole, which is have the you ever seen the flashlights? Do you know the flashlight? Yes, I know that. It's a horrible, horrible contraption. It is like the worst thing to come out of America with no taste. Yes. Now the Tenga, the Tenga flashlight, the Tenga Flip Hole is the Japanese version of the flashlight. So you know it's just got the most amazing technology available to it. So you kind of, it's like this little cylinder and then you pop it open mm -hmm. and then on the inside are all these like, these little waves and things that move and oscillate and gyrate and tingle and twist and all the rest of it. And then you pop your willy in that and you close it like this. It's like a Venus fly eye it. trap. There, your penis is inside. <laughs> a penis and fly trap. You, <laughs> yes. <laughs> then you give it a witchy, witchy, witchy. And then when you're done, you open it and you clean it, which you can't do with a flashlight, which is disgusting. So, um, yes. So there are lots of toys for guys as well. And if I was a guy and I had some time to explore and I didn't have a partner to explore with, I'd be exploring with a few of the, the helps of those little prostates. Um, um, massages. I'd be popping one of those, one or two of those up to see if I like it. Yeah, you see, that doesn't really appeal. And to also, me. so I just keep this just so much. Also, yes. don't yeah, what else? Okay, more. And then also, don't just masturbate in your bedroom. You can wank wherever. Do you know how many places I have wanked? Many, many, many places. Hi, mom. I'm serious though. Do not keep it in the bedroom. If you don't just, just have sex in the bedroom, don't hold on a second. I'm just seeing what Comfort's doing under his desk <laughs> over there. He, uh, he might be rubbing one out. <laughs> <laughs> he, with his penis fly trap. Lovely, Dottie. Well, that was so informative and uh, beautiful. There we go. Thank you so much. We could just keep. Chatting and chatting. I know, I know. Or if you use your lube, you could use the end of a cricket bat. Oh, no, that's terrible. Hey, listen, I see the F1 racing magazine's out. Yes. Did you and read it? Column is in it. No, I'm not in it. No, did you read it? No, not yet. Okay. But I did hear about but it. But thank you. That's very kind. That's exciting. Yes, I know. I must read it myself because I can't remember. Ooh. I wrote it so long ago. So, <laughs> but listen, there's other thing. My new column's out as well. Oh, excellent. So we go to the dotspot.net. Uh, no, it's on Women24, but it's oh, on Women my 24. tweet stream. I've just tweeted it. Okay, and brilliant. it's about, guys, if you don't want to be in the friend zone, stop acting like a friend. Go on a date. It's that simple. D you oh. like a chick, ask her out. Good one. Okay. We'll retweet that for you as well. Okay, guys. You have a beautiful Bye, day. Bye, Dottie. You too. Ciao, Bye, Dottie. Ciao, ciao, ciao. You learned something there, guys? Gears. Gears. Gears on balls.co.za. Weekdays, 1 p.m. to 3 p.m.